Hello everyone, today I'm going to be presenting my EEE 102 project um, which is called the LED sequence game. Um, so let me first show you my modules. Uh, of course I have a top module, a clock. Um, since I use seven segments, I have a seven segment controller. I have a module for bu my buttons and a, a module for the LED um, sequences and of course my pins and here is the schematic of my project um, this, I know this looks a little big uh, but since and it has a lot of boxes since I have a lot of if statements in this project I have a lot of boxes so this is the setup I have um, I have a, an LED dot matrix and a button matrix, of course my basis tree board. Um, and basically what this game does is um, first when you turn the game on, right now it is off, uh, you turn it from here, when you turn the game on uh, an LED sequence lights up in the this matrix, uh, it's just four um, LEDs in total in one level. And then the user the, or the player tries to imitate the se sequence um, for um, with inputting uh, from this button matrix which has, um, as you can see, um, names, every button has a name. And uh, if the user gets the um, a sequence right, uh, the player gets one point and the player starts with five points as you will see and if the, the user gets the input wrong then they get one point um, decremented um, and for this button matrix connection I uh, connected all my rows to ground and then to my basis board and my columns to directly my basis board and uh, I have a lot of cables connecting these uh, four by four square of this matrix to my basis board. Um, since I couldn't find a four by four matrix by itself, I just uh, bought an eight by eight matrix and just used the, um, this corner of it. And it just works fine. And for the levels, uh, I thought I would have a finite state machine uh, because I thought that would make my uh, work easier and uh, more understandable for me to uh, work on. So um, these are the states I have for the game. Um, the initial step uh, is the first step that uh, when the game turn on the game, it uh, first goes to the initial step, uh, which does actually nothing uh, except to go to the displaying the first level of the game. Um, and in the display first step um, state, uh, we display an LED sequence on this matrix. And then we go to the check first step when the um, sequence is complete on the matrix. And on the check first step, uh, we look for the user input from the button matrix over here. And if the, but, um, if the user input is correct, then we go to the next step and in this case it is display the second step um, and if the user input is wrong then we go back to the display first step and so basically we start the game from the beginning and uh, it goes all the same for the five levels of the game and when the game is completed all five levels it just returns to the initial step but this time it is faster than the first one. So basically it is just like this. And now let's see um, how this game works physically. Um, when we turn this uh, button on, the game starts and the user starts with five points, we, we will see here. And as you can see, the um, sequence is displayed and now the user needs to enter the input and we got as you can see one point because I entered it correctly 
Um, let me enter it wrong this time. Now it's returned to the first step and I got one point decremented. Let me do it correctly this time. As you can see, the game uh, gets faster as you go up levels. And I entered it wrong again, so we return to the first step. And get one point decremented. So this is how my game works, basically. And thank you for um, watching this video.